Is this going to be the downfall of the Robin Hood app? Hello everybody, my name is Sanad and welcome to another episode of The Clever Millionaire. In today's video, we are going to talk about Robin Hood. I will give you my personal opinion on what I think about the whole entire situation. We all know that Robin Hood has halted trading on GameStop, on AMC, on Nokia, and probably a couple of other stocks. This is, in my opinion, pure market manipulation and this should be against the law 100%. So we all know the Reddit group, Wall Street Bets, that pretty much pumped up GameStop to record highs. Over the last couple weeks, they have taken GameStop from around two, three dollars all the way up to four hundred dollars. And this has caused a lot of people that shorted the stock, a lot of big investment funds, hedge funds that are pretty much shorting, trying to destroy these companies, they have lost billions of dollars. And the regular people like us that invest in the stock market, people that pretty much were in this group that pumped up GameStop, they made a boatload of money. And now all the big hedge funds that were against GameStop, that were shorting the company, have lost billions of dollars. Now they're upset that regular people made a boatload of money. And they're saying market manipulation. Even though they've been manipulating the market for years, making billions of dollars off of retail investors. And now when retail investors got one major win on them, now they're screaming foul. Now they want to change the rules. They want to shut down the market. Now they want to halt trading completely for GameStop, AMC, and a couple of other stocks. We live in America. We are supposed to have free markets for everyone. If somebody wants to invest in GameStop, they should be able to do so. Even though it is risky, even though they can lose money, people should have that right in order to invest. It shouldn't be, all right, all these wealthy investors, they can short the market. They can manipulate the market. They can buy these stocks. While the retail investor, the everyday people, once they start making money, then it's like, yo, 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 we gotta shut this down. You cannot buy this stock. It is market manipulation. It blows my mind how these people can manipulate the market for years and years and years and make billions of dollars. And now when the regular people are trying to do it, it is a no-go. This is absolutely insane if you ask me. And in my opinion, Robin Hood is completely in the wrong in this one. So all day today, I have been receiving messages on TikTok, people linking me to different articles about Robin Hood's restrictions. And all I can say is, we got to send the message to Robin Hood. This cannot keep going on. This is not the first time Robin Hood has restricted trading of a stock. They have done this in the past. They have extremely shady practices that go on behind the scenes. They are manipulative and they are taking advantage of everyday people. There has been numerous times where a stock has been pumping and then you go on your Robin Hood app and you cannot buy it. You cannot sell it. It is completely frozen. Or they have these magical shutdowns that happen every time a stock pumps or a stock dumps and then you miss the entire opportunity. And today we have gotten a perfect example how Robinhood and these big hedge funds manipulate the market. In my personal opinion, Robinhood is literally robbing people out of their money. So now you're probably wondering, what's the solution? How can we fix this? Personally, the only way I think this can be fixed if masses start leaving Robinhood. If people start closing their accounts with Robinhood and start moving to other platforms that are not halting trading. This is absolutely insane what Robinhood is doing and I think the only way we can send them a message and let our voices be heard is if we delete Robinhood off our phones. That is the only way in my opinion. If that does not happen, Robinhood is going to continue these shady practices. They're still going to halt trades every time the stock is pumping. They're going to lose people money over and over and over again. All right, so now that you know my personal opinion, let's look at the news and let's see what they got to say. As soon as you type in Robinhood or GameStop on Google News, you're going to get a bunch of articles. Look at this one. Robinhood faces backlash from both parties for limited trades. This is absolutely insane. Both the Republicans and the Democrats finally agree on something. And they believe that Robin Hood is in the wrong by halting trading. This goes against everything this country stands for. We should have a free market, no questions about it. Also check this one out. Robin Hood, GameStop, stock block prompts AOC and Ted Cruz investigation threats. There has been already a couple of lawsuits filed against Robinhood by users simply because Robinhood lost them money. So in my opinion, these lawsuits should definitely go through and more people should sue Robinhood. Robinhood hit with a class action lawsuit 
after restricting GameStop stock. We are going to follow this news very carefully and I will keep you updated on the latest on these lawsuits. So make sure you subscribe for more updates. Also, Barstool's poor Tony rips Robinhood as biggest frauds of them all after GameStop trading restrictions. Like the saying goes, the market is free until the rich start losing money. In my personal opinion, we are going to see more stories like this one where everyday people are coming together and standing up to these big hedge funds and making a boatload of money in the process. The majority of people that use Robinhood and these other apps are young individuals between the ages of 18 and early 20s. And all of these people have been around when 2008 the market crashed and their parents lost their homes or they had to move. And now they're pretty much standing up for their rights in the free market in order to be able to stand up to these big hedge funds. Now we are going to have to wait and see if the government steps in and resolves this issue. In my personal opinion, Robinhood should definitely be held liable and they should compensate people that lost money as a direct result of them halting trading on GameStop, on Nokia, and on AMC. But only time will tell what will happen next. All right, everybody, that concludes this little rant. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about this entire situation? Do you think that Robin Hood should be held accountable? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next video. Peace out.